Hello everyone, just a quick video uh, update on the cooling nozzle. I've been fighting a software glitch for the last week or so and finally I've come out of it, but this just uh, kind of give you an overview of how the control works and also I'll show you the new function in action. So when, the, when you first start the unit, you're going to have to set a couple of variables. So to scroll through the menu, you press down on the encoder. So this is where you'd set the current tool. So at this point, you'd want to set it so that it matches your control if you've got an ATC. So you just, once the green box is around a particular number, you just rotate the knob to set it. Uh, twitch, which we'll talk about in a second, that's kind of like the sweeping function for drills and stuff. Sync is for when you have dual nozzles. Uh, I'll cover that probably in a different uh, video. These are the auxiliary outputs, which aren't activated yet. Uh, this, again, in one direction, in two direction. This is so the you can set the behavior when you rotate the knob like uh, clockwise, what does the actual unit do? Does it go clockwise or counterclockwise? Uh, so I haven't finished the coding for that yet. But when I have that ready, you'll be able to, to set that behavior. Because it's kind of, you, in my opinion, you want it to be self-intuitive you know, intuitive where you want the, the nozzle to rotate clockwise. Well, it only makes sense that you want the knob to do the same. Uh, version Pro, that's going to change some behaviors inside the, the unit uh, with servo outputs and stuff like that. Uh, you can set that to basic or pro. Uh, everyone right now is getting the pro version. Number of tools, so this is where you'd set how many tools your, your, you want your display to, to keep track of. The maximum I think right now is 50, and, but if you've got an ATC machine, you want to set it to the number of tools in your ATC. And then number of nozzles, you can change that to activate the second one. If you have a, a second nozzle unit in the machine, you just turn that on and then you can, you can set those. So uh, I'll run this quick drill and tap program uh, just to show you the difference between Twitch and no Twitch. And of course, it's going to pull all that information up automatically. For each tool, you set the Twitch value, whether it's off, low, medium, and high. So right now, the, the drill that you're going to see, it's going to be set to low. So it's uh, just a small sweep. The higher you set it, the longer up the shaft it'll sweep on the tool. So uh, we'll just run this program so you can see how it works. And I think the first thing it's going to do is a tool change. So we'll let you watch that. So there you go. It's picked up on tool three, and it is sweeping. Don't mind my coolant pump has a bit of a delay. So now it's going to load the tap and it will not be sweeping the tap. So there you go, it's picked up on tool one and no sweep, no twitch, I should say. So there you go. That is just a rough overview of how the system works and how to initially set it up when you get yours because very soon uh, people are going to be receiving the first units. I uh, just ordered the shipping boxes and like I said I just solved the software issue that I was having so I'm very happy everything is working just the way it should and uh, yeah, uh, just stay tuned for the next video. All right, thanks, bye.